Bitcoin hits a brand new all time high in market cap. If you look at the market cap, guys, we just hit $1.455 trillion, setting a brand new all time high in the market cap, not necessarily the price. If we look at the price, we still have a little bit further to go, right? We didn't quite hit the all time high, but you know what? Who cares? At the end of the day, it's not about the all time high. You know what it's about? It's about the close, right? This is more important. This is more important. This is more important. This is more important. Not this little tiny wick, right? So we have a bullish weekly engulfing candle breaking above the all time high on these closes, right? So we need the weekly candle to close above these to confirm it, right? So um, this is a really good step in the right direction. So um, I was actually going to put a video out yesterday uh, or actually last night. I didn't get to it. But basically what I wanted to say was be on the lookout for uh, a bigger push to the upside because, right, what have we been talking about here? Well, there's really a couple ideas. The first idea is that this is a one, two, one, two, and this is a one, two of the third wave. And now we're going up into the third of the third wave. Then we get four, then we get five, right? So one, two, one, two, and this is one, two of the third. And then this is third of the third, right? Um, and then we get four and then five. And then this whole thing is wave three. And then we flag out into wave four and then we get uh, another fifth wave, right? So that's sort of what I'm looking at as far as one idea. The other idea here is that this is a diagonal. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's a that's a, like a rising wedge, a diagonal. It ended and maybe it ends in a little bit a little bit later, maybe it gets a little bit higher. But ultimately, if it's a diagonal, then we're going to have some big problems because now we have to have a big ABC correction, something like that, something substantial, right? Something like that. So then what I would say is if we get something like that, we have a shoulder, we have a head, and we still need the other shoulder. So you can see all of this resistance in here. So anytime um, you have a three wave move to the downside and you're coming from way down here and then you're going up inside of a diagonal meeting right back to the all-time high you lose momentum momentum starts to stall out because nobody wants to buy that right i mean maybe uh, unless fomo kicks in but essentially um you know what we, what we would see here is price pulling back um, and so basically this would be a one and this would be a two and then we would skyrocket into a wave three, right? So that's the second idea, right? So those are the two ideas, guys. Um, what is it going to be? So real quick, is it a one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, and then we flag out for a four and then we get five. Right, so one, two, three, four, and then we go up and get five, something like that, right? Or um, if you look here, right, we have a one, two, one, two, we shot up to the upside and we started flagging out in here. Same thing here, one, two, one, two, we shoot to the upside and then we start flagging out like this and then we continue high. If we take a bars pattern, right, and we just look at this wave here and then we, take this and we put it right over here right you can kind of see um, like the one two one two is definitely a lot bigger but if we match up sort of the third wave best as I best I can you can see the third of the third is always going to be one of the biggest waves so we have one two one two same with the fractal one two one two so we break out and then look at that we start going sideways like this start flagging out like a reverse flag um, and then we break out and then, you know, continue higher. So we could see something like that. Now, I don't think it's going to be that high. I don't think it's going to be that big. Uh, I mean, it very well could be, right? My target here would be about, I mean, very simple. Just take a fib, right, from the bottom, uh, from the top down to the bottom. I mean, the 1618 comes right around 87K, right? So I'm thinking... 
at least that, right? So if not higher, um, especially if this is a diag. If this is a diag, then we haven't even begun the third wave yet, right? So if we get that wave one, wave two, and then we go up into a wave, um, a wave three, you know, it could really reset the momentum, bringing us all the way up to 90, 100K. But then we still would have the fifth wave, which would probably get us even higher. So we'll see how it all plays out. But also, you know, if it's a one, two, one, two, I mean, it could still get going really uh, pretty fast because it's kind of like coiling up, coiling up, coiling up, and then it breaks out. So those are the two options, right? So, um, do we get some type of shoulder in here and then break out? Do we flag out, flagging out, and then break out? Or do we sort of just reset, continue higher, reset, continue higher, and then sort of flag out at a much higher price, right? The problem, if it's gonna be bearish, for example, it's gonna be, so that I gave two ideas, this is the third idea, is one, two, three, four, five, that's an A, and then we come up, that's a B, and then we come down one, two, three, four, five, that's a C. So we get some type of flat, A, B, C, and then we go up. That could be brutal, right? Especially for the altcoins. So just be, those. so, so those are the three ideas, guys. Um, which one do you think is gonna play out? So anyways, that's, that's all I kind of wanted to say in here um, for this, I mean, um, what do I think it's going to be? Well, we need a little bit more time. We need to see how it reacts at the all-time high, right? We need to see how, you know, let's give it 24 hours. I mean, we're still, we're, we're only on Wednesday. Or no, we're only on Tuesday. So we still have Wednesday and Thursday. And we know Wednesdays and Thursdays have been one of the most volatile days, right? I don't really like pumping in the beginning of the week because then it makes the end of the week a little bit more bearish. I'd rather pump towards the end of the week than the beginning, right? But uh, it's really about all the altcoins and I'm gonna jump into the altcoins and we're gonna discuss what's happening because I think the altcoins are gonna be even bigger. Now, everybody's probably selling their altcoins, rushing into Bitcoin and they might be winners for a little bit, but ultimately the altcoins are gonna do way better than Bitcoin, okay? So, I mean, uh, let, let's for example, if we go back, let's go, over here and let's look at the last bull run right and all we got to do is pull up an altcoin let's say total three or let's say theta right let's put them both on regular scale you can see very clearly guys what happened bitcoin was going flat theta was going flat then bitcoin starts going higher and i'm just using theta as an example it's all the other coins as well right bitcoin starts going higher theta goes a little bit higher but then once Bitcoin gets way up to the top and starts distributing, that's when we saw Theta have that big explosive move to the upside. So let me actually put that on the two day chart and you can see it very clearly. Um, let me put this on black right here. Yeah, you can see that huge wave occurred when Bitcoin was in distribution, right? So we got to wait a little bit. So if I put a vertical line at the point of liftoff, you can see right there, Bitcoin was going sideways. That's when Theta was exploding to the upside. So if we translate that to what's happening right at this very moment, it's the same thing, guys. Same thing. We see Bitcoin going up. We see Theta going sideways. Once Bitcoin breaks out and it has five ways, one, two, three, four, five, right? Obviously, we're going to see theta go into a retracement. Then once, you know, we're going to have five waves. So let's say we get to wave three, we pull back into wave four. That's when theta sort of consolidates in the retracement level. Then we hit wave five. Then we start breaking out. Then we start what? Going sideways, kind of like what we did over here, kind of like in distribution and don't mind the price I, I think it's going to be a lot higher than where i have it drawn but you see what i mean so then once we start going sideways just like last time that's when we're going to see the altcoins really start to rip to the upside so it might take it some time it, it might not happen until next year right but ultimately i mean i'm talking about the big move i think we're going to still get some some of these smaller moves right because the, the main move i'm expecting for the altcoins 
right? All of the altcoins have a downtrend, okay? All of the altcoins do. So what I'm expecting for most of them is to get back to the retracement levels. And in order to do that, we need Bitcoin to break out. But I don't know if Bitcoin's gonna break out right away. It could, it looks like it's so, so bullish right now, it could break out and go to 80K by tonight, right? But here's the thing, you know, it. we came from way down here, we, we're, we're sort of coiling our way up. It, it, it To me, like I said, we need to kind of like flag out a little bit. I wanna see us flagging out, right? And get that, that more of that inverse head and shoulders look and then break out because this flag right here, you can say, why do we need to do that? Because it's gonna reset the momentum very bullishly for that third wave. Right, and then it's going to also allow the altcoins to kind of catch up because when Bitcoin starts to stall out and consolidate, people get bored with Bitcoin. Then they start looking at the alts. We need the alts to jumpstart, right? And we need to pump them up here. So, anyways, let's talk about the altcoins right now. But then also, if you look at Bitcoin dominance, right? Bitcoin dominance is going higher. But if you look back over here, uh, I don't think I have it. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so you can see what happened. Bitcoin dominance crashed to the floor and that's when we had this big move but I'm not going to really get into that today let's let's take a look at let's go to theta real quick and let's see if we can get this going here so if we look at theta right ultimately the idea here is we have three up we have three down right exactly what we talked about we've been talking about this for a while Wyckoff accumulation since we were back at the top here. Um, there was other ideas, but this was most the most likely idea because it establishes a bigger base. And that's what we need to go higher, right? So we have three up, three down. And then the idea here is we want five back up to the upside, right? And then we want to flag out and then hopefully continue higher. So that's my main idea for, for theta. Now, Let's put it on log scale. If it has to go lower, like let's say, you know, we come up here and then we have to come down lower. Well, wh whatever the case is, I'm still expecting a retracement. I don't think that's likely. If we have to come down and break the low and then come up for a retracement, then so be it. I, again, I don't think that's too likely, especially with Bitcoin almost at the all time high, right? So, um, if we look, if we put on Bitcoin here, right, you can see um, uh, what was I going to say? You could see Bitcoin, right, as it was going into its uh, its final wave, that's when we had the, the biggest gains in theta. That's when we went from like $2 all the way up to $15, right? So uh, if that's the case, right, we still need that fifth wave. So I want to see that fifth wave come in here. So anyways, I want also to explain um, that this is very, very bullish, right? Because of this wave one, we have a wave two, right? It looks like a one, two, one, two off of this accumulation structure. We came down, we back tested it. We're building a base on top of the base. Let's go. Right. I mean, everything's checking out bullishly for theta. Um, the downward resistance line, I think we're back underneath it. Let's see. Or, no, actually, look at that. We broke out and then we have a three way move and we're back testing it. So I want to see higher prices. So anyways, let's let's keep moving here. The meme coins look really, really good. Um, I, I kind of like Bohm in a way because it's not so overvalued. Uh, SHIB has a really nice posture, but essentially, like, we see this downward channel. We broke out. We're back testing. Hopefully, we can continue to go higher with, with it. Uh, um, you know, some coins like ICP, they, they look a little bit concerning. You know, they drop down. You have a little bit of a triangle. It could keep going lower before it goes higher. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't look so great at the moment. Let's see if we can have anything else. Like, let's look at SHIB here. You know, SHIB looks a lot better. I mean, it looks like we have three up, but the problem is you have a low. It looks like it wants to come 
potentially back down to the lows like what theta did right if that's not the case then what we have is three up and then we have three down right let's keep moving higher another thing is um, like if we look at Filecoin same kind of thing right you're kind of consolidating here eventually we want to see a big move to the upside a retracement to the upside right so let's look at Tia now Tia has been I think I think it's one of my favorites so far are one of my favorite sub altcoins um not counting the main ones but uh yeah i like this impulse i like the three-way pullback we're right back at support it looks decent for a move to the upside now all of these moves to the upside doesn't mean today or tomorrow or even next week it's going to take some time let's look at xrp so XRP looks really bullish. Look at this. I'm gonna show you something I have never showed before in XRP. Look at this. We have this move down, move down. Move back up, move back up. Move back down, move back down. We come up, we take the high. We come up, we take the high. And then we come down, we come down. And then we, we have this little swoop and then down. Swoop and then down. Look at that. It's the same thing, especially the swoop, right? you can see it right there and right there so what comes next a big pump what comes next hopefully a big pump right so um the whole thing with xrp is it's i think it's very very bullish we have one two three four five we have a we have b we have c right so this whole thing is an a b c a b c so we have three up we have three down and now we have an impulse and now we're flagging out with the same fractal as this so ultimately, I think this thing's gonna break out. You have a shoulder, you have a head, you have a shoulder, right? It looks pretty good. So that's where I'm leaning towards. You can also see the three wave move here. We have an impulse, you have an A, you have a B, and you have a C, A, B, C, right? So one, two, let's go, right? So all things point to the upside. Now, especially I'm more convinced now that Bitcoin's near the all time high, but here's the thing. If Bitcoin pulls back, we can easily come all the way back down to the lows, right? So don't think we can't come back lower before we go higher. I still think there needs to be some work done, but I think these, in my opinion, these are accumulation prices. So if we look at total three, you can see, let's stretch it out a little bit. Look at this. I mean, it's perfect. Look, we have a W, X, Y, X, Z, right? We have a triple combo correction. We also have, I mean, potentially an ascending triangle that's coiling up, wanting to break out, right? You can also say you have one, two, three, four, five, a diagonal like Bitcoin. But then if that's the case, you still need a big ABC pullback flagging out in here and then continuing higher. So you go up, 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 down, 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 and then continue higher, right? So this is kind of a downtrend. So down, up, down up i mean that's usually how it goes right now if this wants to have a big breakout in here then i'm still expecting it to flag out up here just a little bit higher so we'll see how it plays out but ultimately it looks really bullish um you kind of see the cup in here you see the handle and we're breaking the handle let's go i mean let's this is it i mean dogecoin is kind of a surprise i mean look at that i mean dogecoin did very well i wish i bought some um you know people used to make fun of the meme coins and including myself but who's laughing now right all these meme coins you know they're ridiculous to some extent but i i you know back then i didn't really get it now i get it there's it's like pokemon cards right it's like game of thrones it's like you know trading cards it's like you know collectibles right i don't know it's it, it, it's that pop culture that that meme culture right and 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 sometimes you well it doesn't have any utility what what is it used for well think about it like if you have a 20 year old kid who's looking at dogecoin versus filecoin like you think of filecoin you think of a 55 year old man doing your taxes with gray hair 
right? Yeah, here, here's some file coin, kid. Go ahead and spend it well, right? It's like, I don't want file coin. I want doge coin because it's got a cool dog on it, or I or like shib because it's got a dog. I mean, what's up with all the dogs, right? And you got all these different meme coins, right? But here's the thing, file coin, that's a, that's a utility token. That I think that comes later with utility. Um, but anyway, that's a subject for another day. So I like Dogecoin here. It looks like uh, you got three up, right? You come three down, and now it looks like a one, two, one, two. And now we're potentially going much, much, much higher. So be on the lookout for Doge. You see a one, two, one, two here right and this is one two this could be the third and the fourth and the fifth i mean this could this could get going very fast so i just want people to be aware of that if you look at what happened last time this is kind of where we're where xrp is in my opinion and also ethereum classic if you look at this for example if i put on watch this right here if i take the layout and i go this way with it and then i take that off and let me go down to dogecoin or let me go down to uh i think it's ethereum classic if i can find it here we go so you can see actually let me see if i can do it uh i keep doing uh let's see if i could do it this way there we go look at that look at that guys I mean, you see that, right? This is right now. This is right now. Okay? So, I mean, if you didn't know any better, you'd be looking at the same chart, right? So this was Dogecoin back in the day. You can see what happened. Um, we were flagging out in here. We broke the channel. We back tested. We skyrocketed. I mean, that's exactly what Ethereum Classic is doing. Now, why would Ethereum Classic do that? I mean, who cares about Ethereum Classic? I, I don't even know if it's going to do that. But this is not a promotion for ethereum classic this is just saying look if ethereum classic has the same posture the same structure as dogecoin before it exploded and made people millionaires then you know maybe we get something a little bit similar i don't think it's going to be to the extent of that but you know it, it looks like it wants to break out i mean heck it might only get to here and then go down right i mean look at dogecoin it exploded so um yeah very 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 cool situation here so you could also say uh something a little bit similar for xrp right we're kind of i mean it, it it looks a little bit different this is kind of going up this is going down um but what i really wanted to say is like you can see right you got one two three four let's get five right like when you look at dogecoin we actually have five see we have one two three four five this is one two three four we still need five so we're somewhere in here um so we'll see how that plays out uh i keep there we go let's go back to this one so anyways that's dogecoin it could very well go high um so one of the things is we since we already have five waves right we can very easily have like a rise crash retrace get higher in the retracement levels come down go into reaccumulation then break out something much longer than this um but you know you can see doge on president trump's website with elon musk the department of government efficiency or something like that so i thought that was kind of funny um let's keep moving along here ethereum i mean ethereum could be like a one two one two we have a three-way pullback let's go right so or it sort of looks like an a you know we come up like a crash we come up into a retracement and then we have to go down into a C leg and then go, or some type of reaccumulation, then go, right? So, um, but if that's the case, it's 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 not going to be too nice. Um, I mean, Solana looks much more bullish, right? We flag out. Looks like a one, two, three, four. It looks like we need five. 
um, unless we come down into reaccumulation and then go later on. So it's 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 all going to be about how Bitcoin plays plays out in the story. So if we look at something like ADA, right? We can see. Uh, we can see, obviously, we have a double bottom, right? We come up in this three-way move, and then we come down, right? So the next option would be to get a retracement or back to the upside. So like a one, two, one, two, let's go. Um, I mean, we've been holding support in here for a while. So, I mean, we're just, this is support, support, support. So I think it's just being held up, right? And I think eventually we're gonna get a retracement. I think that's what's going on here. So XLM, I haven't looked at XLM in a while. XLM looks pretty bullish, to be honest. Very bullish, look at this. We have three up and we have three down, guys. And then we have this impulse and then we're flagging out in here, so. This could be uh, could be a little bit of a setup potentially. Let's see the daily chart. Yeah, so we have an impulse, we have an A, we have a B, and maybe we get something like that, and then go up, or it it was a running flat, or even a triangle A, B, C, D, E. Um, but anyways, it looks pretty good. I just wanna see how this, I mean, yeah, it does look like a triangle, honestly. A, B, C, D, E, right? And then we have a one and then we're flagging out for a two. This thing could break out of here, um, but it could also break to the downside, but I don't think so, unless it was one, two, three, four, five. But I don't think so. I think what we have is one, two, three, A, and then one, two, three, B, and then we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five for C. And that's what a lot of coins look like to me. Um, but some of them look like they might need a little bit of a low. So, um, yeah, I think a retracement even if you can see this is down move right so you need a three-way move back to the upside before going further down but hopefully that's not the case hopefully we could flag out and go higher and it turns into one two three four five instead um same thing with xrp like i just talked about it's very in my opinion bullish because you have this channel going up 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 down 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 right it's ultimately gonna go higher, in my opinion. So, let's keep going here. XRP dominance. Dominance is coming down. Same thing as Bitcoin, right? You could say one, two, three, four, five, go. And that's probably what we're gonna do. Or this is gonna be a one, two, and then we get up here like that. Um, Monero. Monero's been interesting. It's kind of just very tight. It gets up here in a very tight range. Has a very shallow, has a very, a very shallow um, crash. Right. It, it came from here just down to here, where a lot of them came way down there. So anytime they have a shallow retracement, that could mean a bigger move coming. So it looks like a big cup, and then sort of a handle in here. So. Um, yeah, I think uh, we need that breakout here. I mean, let's look at let's look at this. To me, it looks like Wyckoff. You come back up, you come back down, right? You have that liquidity grab. You pump to the upside. You have a three-way pullback in here. Let's go. I mean, you know, that looks pretty good to me. Um, let's see, XDC. You know, XCC kind of looks like Ethereum when it had that, um, you know what, it looks pretty bullish, it, it, you know, like the uh, 
the W pattern. So like this, and then we come up like that, right? And that's how I think Ethereum is as well. So let's see, do I have Ethereum up here real fast? I could show you the example very quickly if I can find it. I think I just passed it. So you can see, right, we had the move down. You have this W pattern, right? Rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation. We go sideways and we blast off. So same thing with theta as well, or I'll even show theta fuel as an example. Like same thing, you can see we come down, you have the W pattern, and then what does it do? It swoops on up just like that. So that's what I believe is, is going on here. Is something to that effect. Um, loop ring doesn't look that good. Let's see, VLO. You know, VLO doesn't look that good either. It looks like it needs that. Some of them look good, some of them don't. V chain looks like it's steady, right? Building a base in here, doing what it needs to. Ultimately, I think it needs a retracement. One, two, one, two. Or no, that can't be a one, two, because it broke the low. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, one. And then we come down for a two, and then we go up hopefully for a three, or we get an A, B, C, then go. But that's for another day. CRV hurts my feelings <laughs> because I missed the move. Uh, you know, I, I actually sold it here and then it pumped up a little bit higher, but it's okay. Um, if we look at CRV, it looks bullish. I mean, look at it. It looks like a nice rising, falling wedge. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Boom. Right? So you have an impulse, falling wedge. Let's break out. I mean, it looks really good, guys. I mean, look at that. And you could also say it's like a three-way move, and then we go. So we'll see. Um, Casper is just a disaster. It's just dying, man. Casper's dead. Jeez. The worst investment ever. I bought some long time ago back in the day, and I just held it, and I wish I never did. I mean, look at this. This is just... There's no other altcoin in the world going down like this. I mean, what the hell, man? Um, jeez. I mean, hopefully it, it could be finished. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's probably finished in here. I mean, you know, it, it could be a good opportunity too. Uh, we'll see, but man, terrible, 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 terrible. Um, we already talked about ADA, XLM. I'm just trying to get a sense of the whole market, guys. Let's look at Tron. I haven't looked at Tron. So Tron also had like a, a shallow retracement cup handle to the falling wedge. But I don't like this correctiveness. Right? It just kind of setting in here. It kind of leaves a pullback. I don't know. It's... I think we could break out. I, I, I feel like we will break out. I mean, it looks very bullish. I mean, you can see cup handle right there. I mean, it's we're cupping in, cupping in. I think it's going to break out. But we've already came from all the way here. I feel like it needs a little bit of a, a cool off phase first. MAGA, MAGA. The election is next week, so be prepared. Um, like I said, with the election, I think they're going to say Trump cheated because of an election interference. Or they're going to say like, oh, we had a cyber attack. Oh, our election grid was hit. Oh, the intelligence agencies say that six different countries interfered in our elections. Trump can't win because it was totally, uh, you know, it was rigged or something. You you think I'm lying, but you, you'll, you'll see. You'll see exactly how they, the deep state loves, to, they did it in 2016. They said Russia, Russia interfered. And then they did it, uh, I think, and they did it in 2018 with the, with the uh, other election. Um, but anyways... You know, I think the election will happen. Trump's going to win by a, a landslide, but they're going to rig it so much that it's going to look like it's dead even. And then if Kamala wins, 
right? Obviously, it's because they cheated, but I think, uh, it, uh, put it this way, it's going to be chaotic, I think. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, total two. Total two looks good. Sort of like in this ascending triangle. I want to see it break out. But again, you have three up. We could get one, two, three down. So be aware of that. One, two, three up. One, two, three down. And then get one, two, three, four, five up. So it's going to look like that. So here's your bottom. Here's your higher low, right? So that's the only thing that I'm stressing about for everybody is this trend line. Let's watch to see if this trend line gets broken to the downside. If it does, then that's your three wave move down and then let's go. So we'll see how that plays. Um, Theta versus Bitcoin finally made that low. Yeah, you know, it's looks like to me like a done deal. We're right back in resistance or support. Looks like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we're just gonna have to wait and see, but. Um, again, we looked at SHIB. Sand. I think it's like a gaming thing. This one, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, we're building a base. I'm expecting a retracement here. So we have one, two, three up, right? Or actually, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that, maybe. That's a little bit challenging there. Render. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, it's a little bit, that's a tough one. Ultimately, you have a three way move down, right? You're building a little bit of base. Maybe we get a retrace. It's all about the retracement levels. When we hit the retracement levels, that's going to be the most challenging thing is, is how does it react? Like, for example, Pepe, you had a three-way move to the downside. You built a base. This was easy. When you get up here, you have point A, point B, and now you get point C. It can either go down into a, a bigger wave down. It can go into reaccumulation. It could flag out and break out. I mean, it's really either way but that's why we have to look deep inside the uh, wave structure um, others here's others flagging out let's get back up here um, Litecoin I haven't looked at Litecoin in a little bit so Litecoin if you can hit that like button, I mean, we're, you know, Bitcoin's hitting all time highs, uh, pretty much. So, um, yeah, if you can hit that like, I'd really appreciate it. But if we look at this, we have three up and then look at this, we have three down. So that meets my qualifications, right? Some of these don't have that, right? Like Litecoin totally has it. Um, three up three down support 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 it's in the same vicinity right so one two let's get three a b c um let's look at the small time frames here real quick um yeah, just some consolidation. Yeah, this move to the downside. I mean, let's see if we can get a retracement back here and then we can talk. Um, the daily chart. Yeah, it looks good. One, two, three, four, five. 
let's get a three-way move back up here. Um, Litecoin versus Bitcoin is is basically just been going down forever, right? But if you notice, it's been kind of going flat over the last couple of weeks here. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I think ultimately we need some kind of retracement, but you know, this is a terrible chart right here. I mean, we're just going, this is a big one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have what? One, two, three, four, five. And that's what it is, a three-way move. So maybe this is a one, a two, and let's go. Nah, I don't know if that's gonna be that case, but let's look at Link. Rapid fire. I like link. We built a base. We broke out. We actually made a retracement. We had a three way. We flagged out in here, right? We back tested. So the next order of business is to either go sideways into reaccumulation, rise, crash, retrace, reaccumulation, sideways breakout, or simply just start to break out, right? Kind of like a cup and handle, maybe. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks decent. Uh, problem with Link is it went high so much. Link was probably one of the best coins for me back in the day. I got in, I was lucky. Link was one of my lucky ones. I got in early. I got in when it was about, I think, I can't remember. It was, I think it was like a dollar to two dollars. Uh, I can't remember. And then I sold it, I think, at like 10 or $15. But then it went up to like 50 bucks. Um, yeah, that's Link. Caspa. I mean, you see what I mean, guys? Remember I said Caspa. I said I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. Look at this. It's just too high. Like, there's no... You know, you had three drives to the high here. It, it, there's no entry for me, right? I mean, this thing was just going up, up, up. I mean, this is scary. I would not be in that. I think if I can get a three-way pullback, I would totally buy it. But, you know, it's just one of those charts that just don't look right to me. I mean, to be honest, we do have a three-way move, okay? So if we looked at it bullishly, I mean, it's so hard to read this chart, man. I'll have to put it on regular scale. Okay, so if we have a one, two, or one, two, say three, four, five, and then we have A, B, C, yeah, this thing could keep ripping. I mean, I te technically, yeah, it could. It could keep ripping to the upside. So, Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see that. So we'll see. I mean, it is oversold a little bit. We're back down to the resistance. Maybe I might buy a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. If we can get five down, I would buy it if we can back test this area down in here. I think that would be interesting. You know. Because uh, it, it might, it, it might, this might just be the face of it before it goes even higher. It's, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough one. H bar. So again, with H bar, right, you have three waves to the upside. You come back down. Maybe we have three up. Maybe we get three down and then we go higher. I don't know, that's a tough one. Um, but put it this way, I want a, a retracement. Support, support, we build the base, let's get a retracement. That's how I see it. What's gold doing? Gold is still break, I mean, God, man, that's crazy. Gold's still breaking out. I might have to sell some gold soon. And I don't have much gold, but I'd like to sell a little bit of it at least.
before this thing comes down. I mean, looks like one, two, and it looks like we're in the middle of the three, four, and five. I mostly have silver though. Phantom, flare, yeah, just, I mean, flare, let's get a pump. Ugh. ETH versus Bitcoin is still crashing. The DXY is pumping up a little bit. Look at the DXY. Interesting. So Bitcoin's breaking out on the DXY. So imagine when the DXY goes down, maybe uh, Bitcoin gets a big break. Dot. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. They need a retracement, guys. Once we get a retracement, it'll be much better. Um, cyber. BNB. You know, you have this three wave move, three wave move there. Maybe we get three and then go, or we have um, three, or yeah, three, and then we have one, two, three, and then four, and then we get five. Adam. I don't know about this one. Uh, I mean, it kind of looks like, yeah, you got a three-way move there. But is it finished? That's the hard part. Um, and when I mean hard part, I mean it's not hard, but it's 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 kind of tough because of where we are in the, in the cycle. Um, like you have three. You have three, and then you get one, two, three, four, five. Five, three, five, A, B, C, and then we get back up to here. Um, I think that's it, guys. I'm not gonna look at any more. I mean, I, we pretty much looked at all of them. What's XRP? ETH is doing okay. XRP versus Ethereum. Look at Bitcoin Cash versus Bitcoin. I mean, that's kind of interesting. You have a pump, A, B, C. You're 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 kind of in a tight little range here. Maybe we can break out. You know, because when the you know when Bitcoin goes up, um, Bitcoin Cash. You know that it's technically a Bitcoin. It's a fork of Bitcoin. So, you know, maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe people buy Bitcoin Cash, but I think it. I think it could be interesting. I'd. I'd actually take a shot at it. Near protocol. I mean, you're. You have a big pump, and you're flagging out. So eventually, I want to see it break out. Injective. We're flagging out. Pulse. Let's break out. Um. XEC. I got some new ones on here. Um, that's a tough one. I mean, we're building a base. I want to see a retrace. Basically, that's pretty much it for all of them. Um, Siacoin. Yeah, you're building a base. You need a retrace. So basically, all the charts are, that are building the base need a retrace. If not, they need one more low and then a retrace. And that's basically how I look at it. Puffer. Um, there's nothing there. Theta. Yeah, so theta... And now we go back to theta. Look at this. We're back at support here. So I don't mind buying this one. And we got a three-way pullback. We got three up. We got three down. We're right at support. So for me, this one is a more high probability trade. Um, now, if this breaks to the downside, 
then I'm going to still look at a retracement. I just don't see it right now. It could prove me wrong later. Um, you know, when we look at the four hour chart, right? This looks finished. This looks finished. Um, yeah. I think, okay, so what I think is going on is I think we need, we got up here, right? Let's come back down a little bit and then go back up. I want to see it flag out and then make an attempt to get back to where it's at. So um, one more look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin looks like it just topped. Look at the four hour chart. Let's turn on the sequential. We don't have any sequential on. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see the eight hour chart. Look at that. Whoa, guys, we have an eight hour nine cell pinpoint nailed it. I mean, you can't get any more textbook than that. Look at the look at the shape of the candle. Look at the candle shape. I mean, that's a perfect nine guys. So that could be potentially a, a, a decent short setup, maybe. Right. I mean, is it possible we can break out right now? Yes, but just remember that the two ideas we had here with Bitcoin, which is what? Which is either this is a one, two, three, four, five, and then we have to come down an ABC pullback, go higher. Or this is a one, two, one, two, one, two, and this is a third, and then we get four and five, right? So, um, yeah, let's see how it reacts in here. You have a shoulder, you have a head, maybe we get another shoulder. So anyways, that'll do it for this video. Let's see what happens here. Let's look at the seven minute chart real quick. I mean, there's no reason to suspect it's done yet. We're kind of ramping up a little bit. Too difficult to count, but let's see if we can get a a nice pullback in here and maybe continue longing it so all right that's it but bitcoin new all-time high as far as market cap concerned so that's a good thing and then eventually like i said the rotations will occur at the appropriate time we just have to wait so anyways catch you guys on the next one cheers